Welcome to TwoFingerBanjo.com. I'm Matt Brown. Here's how Benton Flippin played June Apple. Before we learn this tune, I want to say a couple quick things about Benton Flippin. Um, I actually had the good fortune to meet him through my friendship with Paul Brown. Paul took me and my father Tim to meet Benton and his wife Lois in their home in North Carolina and they were very generous and very gracious and we got to play some music with Benton in, in their, their dining room I think it was. And Benton was not a man who said a lot of things but his music spoke volumes and he's one of my favorite fiddlers to have walked the earth and I got to play with him again at the Mount Airy Fiddlers Convention which was his local uh, fiddlers convention. His first instrument though was banjo. He tried playing clawhammer banjo, um, word has it, and, and didn't really like it, didn't really take to it, but found Two Finger to be a, a better fit. And so he played banjo with Esker Hutchins who was a great older fiddle player and Benton first played with Esker, and they have a, a nice version of, of 8th of January that appeared on an album of Benton's that Paul Brown produced. Um, that album's mostly Benton fiddling and Paul on banjo, but you'll hear this version of June Apple on that recording. Um, I did want to say, too, that you might know a fiddle player who plays June Apple, and this incredible version that Benton came up with for the banjo part um, might not fit perfectly with your favorite fiddler's version, so you might have to adjust a note or two if you're going to jam on it with, with a fiddle player. But if you want to just have this to play alone or to be, to be accompanied by a guitarist, it's really perfect as it is, and uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. Here is the first phrase of the June Apple A part. Make sure you're in A tuning, either with the capo or without, and let's try it. So the first thing you're going to do is set up on the fifth fret of both strings one and two. So I use pinky on the first string, fifth fret, and ring finger on the second string, fifth fret. And the first couple notes are string one and string two with those frets down. Try that. Ready, go. Ready, go. Now. The next thing you're going to do is lift your pinky and play 1-5 as your strings. Try that. Open 1, open 5. But keep the ring finger down. We're going to need it. Ready, go. Open 1, open 5. Ready, go. All right. So now what we need to do is put the pinky back down and try those four notes. So it's going to be 5th fret, 5th fret, open, open. Ready, go. The strings are one, two, one, five. And that pattern is going to appear throughout this A part. Try it. Ready, go. Try it twice in a row. That'll give you the first measure of the song. Ready, go. Again. Let's do that once more. Ready, play. Okay. 
When you're ready, I'll show you the next bit of this phrase. You can pause the video though if you need to work on that first idea. The rest of it is back with both fingers down. So pinky goes back down, the ring finger never left. And you're gonna go one, two, one, five, open, open. So that was open first and open fifth at the end. So if I have both fingers down on the fifth fret, I'm gonna go one, two, one, five, open one, open five. Try that, ready, play. And again, ready, play. So if you wanna put the first phrase together, and I'm eager to, we're gonna go back to pinky down and ring finger down and do all of this, listen. I lift, put it back down, lift, back down, and then let go. Try it. Ready, go. Let's try it again. Ready, go. Once that feels smooth, you're ready to move on to the second phrase. Here's the second phrase of the A part. It gets a little wild there at the end. Um, you'll, you might notice that we have a similar idea with our picking pattern. We're still going one, two, one, five but we've changed the notes because the chord changes. So the chord of the song at the beginning, first two measures is an A chord, and then the guitar players and mandolins will switch to an E chord. So we make more of, a, of an E sound, but we don't put all of an E chord down. We just need first string, fourth fret, which I use with middle, and then second string, third fret. So go ahead and get those down, and you're gonna do the same thing though, where we go one, two, lift, five. One, two, lift, five. Try all of that. It's like the first measure, but at four and three rather than five and five. Here we go. Ready, play. So that's four, three, zero, zero, four, three, zero, zero. Ready, go. Once you can do that, you're ready for the second half of this phrase, which starts with this first string fourth fret still down, but we're gonna move the second string note up to join it at the fourth fret. You hear that kind of zany sound? So that would be fourth fret, fourth fret, fourth fret, open. Still the one, two, one, five picking pattern, but with that very strange, um, combination of notes. Try it. So fourth fret on the first two strings. Ready, go. Try that one more time. Ready, go. And then you can let go and go open one and then open five. Try it that way. So all the fours and then open one, open five. Ready, go. Open, open. So here's what you're gonna to put together. You're gonna to go to three and four, or the four and three, uh, of the first two strings and go. And here we go. Let's try it twice together. Ready, play. Four, three, open, open, four, three, open, open, four, 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 open, open open. It probably looks easier on the tab uh, than having me just say numbers at you. Try it without me saying numbers at you. Ready, go.
When that starts to sound normal to you, let's put phrases one and two together. We're gonna do phrases one and two three times. One, two, ready, go. Here's the third phrase of our A part. So you'll notice that the first measure of it, which would be measure five on your tab, um, is the same as the first measure of the tune. So I'm not even gonna teach that again. Just remind you that it's the five and five where we go one, two, oh, and then the open strings, but we do it twice. So. And then it's different. You put your pinky back down on first string, fifth fret for a long note. And then I use middle to get to first string, fourth fret and play it quickly with open fifth after. So I have fifth fret of the first and then fourth fret with middle and then open fifth. Try that, so go fifth fret, fourth fret, open. Ready, go. Ready, go. And then all we need to do after that is go open one, and then open two. Try that, open one, open two. Ready, go. Great. So what if you go, try it, pinky, ready, go. And then middle, open, open, ready, go. So now we can put phrase three together because it started like phrase one. And then had this fifth, fourth, open, open. Try it. Ready, go. One more time. One, two, ready, go. Once that feels good, let's put phrases one, two, and three together. Let's play the first three phrases of our A part three times. One, two, ready, go.
now you're ready for the end of the A part. Here's the fourth phrase of our A part. The first time. The second time, here's the fourth phrase of the A part. And the only difference between the first and second ending, or the two different fourth phrases, is that the second one has an extra note at the end. So, let me show you the first ending included in the fourth phrase, and then I'll show you how to make it the second ending. This is all on your tab, and it might help to have the tab in front of you printed out or on a different screen. We're looking at measures seven, eight, and nine of the June Apple page one. So measure seven, or the beginning of the fourth phrase, is like this. So first I want you to go one, two, one, open strings. Ready, go. One, two, one. And then we're gonna do a pull off from two to zero on the third string. So one, two, one, pull off, and index finger's good for that. Ready, go. And then go over to fourth string, fourth fret. I use my ring follow that with an open first. So fourth string, and then first string. That concludes measure seven, which in its entirety is one, two, one, pull off, four, one. Ready, play. Ready, go. So that's half of your fourth phrase, regardless of whether it's the first time through the A or the second time through the A. Where it's different is in the second half. So on your tab, you'll see measure eight has a number over it, number one, and this is called the first ending of, of a piece of music in particular, June Apple. So the first ending of the June Apple A part is to go all open strings. So it's just a rhythm. The tricky thing though is we're going to break our golden rule that I set up at the beginning of the course. It was really a, more of a suggestion than a rule, and Benton Flippin may well have played it this way. I met him, um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, but I never actually saw him play banjo, only ever fiddle when I was around him. So we're just going to guess that he might have done this. That finger pattern is thumb. Thumb, index, index, thumb. You'll see a red eye over the index, the surprise index note of open second. The strings are three, five, one, two, five. Try it, ready, go. Three, five, one, two, five. Ready, go. Ready, go. I think we're ready to put measures seven and eight together. So this is the fourth phrase at the end of the first time through the A part, and then we'll add the extra note in a minute. So all of the fourth phrase, the first time through, is to go into the B part, we're going to just add one more note at the end of that. So that the second ending, when you look at it, this is measure number nine on your tab, is going to be so three, five, one, two, five, one. Ready, go. Three, five, one, two, five, one. Ready, go. So, you can try this without looking at the tab, but it might be easier to have it in front of you. We're gonna play measures seven and nine. So it's the fourth phrase of this A part, but the second time through, so with the second ending. 
Um, one, two, ready, go. Let's try it two more times. One, two, ready, go. Two, last time, go. And if you're viewing this video somewhere besides the twofingerbanjo.com website, head over there to get the tab or to look at it so that you're not um, confused. I'm, I'll try not to confuse you too much, but this is a hard one to talk about. Um, all right, I think you're ready to move on to trying the whole A part. Let's play two A parts. The first time we'll play the first ending. The second time we won't. We'll play the second ending. One, two, ready, go. Let's do it one more time. So A1 followed by A2. And you can always go back and play it on your own and then play it with me again before moving on to the B part. Here we go, two A parts. One, two, ready, go. Once you're ready, move on to the B part. Here's the first phrase of the B part. So to begin that, let's slide from two to four on the third string. And that can either be a whole arm slide or just your finger as long as your hand's not clenched against the neck. So slide from two to four on the third string with index, and then five, one. And then follow that with open three, and then five, one. So the whole measure is slide, five, one, three, five, one. Ready, go. One more time. Ready, go. That's measure 10. Measure 11 is the other half of our phrase. It's mostly open strings. First you're gonna go open two, open one. And then the only fretted note is our slide from one to two on the second string. So try going open, open, slide, ready, go. And once that feels okay, you'll add open one, and then five, one. So we have two, one, slide, one, five, one, ready, go. Ready, go. I 
think we're ready to put the first phrase together. So to remind you, it's slide, open, open, slide, open. Ready, go. Ready, go. When that feels smooth, let's move on to the second phrase. Here's our second phrase of the B part. We're once again turning our golden rule from early in this course into a golden suggestion, maybe a bronze one at that. You're going to pluck three, two, five, one. And that two, you're going to pluck with your index. So thumb, index, thumb, index. Try that. Three, two, five, one. Ready, go. Three, two, five, one. Just alternating thumb and index like we usually do. Ready, go. Hopefully it doesn't feel too strange to bring your index finger over to pluck the second string. After those four open strings, I want you to slide from second position, index finger of course, going from second fret of the thir third string, yeah, up to third fret of the third string. So just a quick slide. You could use your whole hand, but I'm probably going to just move the finger. Try that slide from two to three of the third. Ready, go. And then open second. So we have slide, open second. If you want to put the measure together, measure 12 on your tab, it's three, two, five, one, slide, open two. Try it. Ready, go. One more time. Ready, go. And then the rest of the phrase, we go back to first position, make part of a C chord, C shape. It's going to come out as a D chord. Um, and while holding down first string, second fret with middle and second string, first fret with index, you're going to play these strings. Two, five, one, two, one, five. Try it. Ready, go. Two, five, one, two, one, five. Ready, go. So I think we're ready to put the second phrase of the B part together. Measures 12 and 13. One, two, ready, go. Two, again, go. One, two, last time, go. Once that feels good, move on and we're going to play phrases one and two. One, two, ready, slide. And if you find slightly different fingerings that work for you, just go with it. I'll trust you. I'm just sharing mine as we go. Let's do that again. One, two, Slide now. One more time, phrases one and two. One, two, ready, go.
once you can play those two phrases together, you're ready for the third phrase. Here's what the third phrase sounds like. So we begin by plucking first string with our index, and then we have a thumb pluck on the third string going backwards with a slide from three to two. So you're gonna go open one, and then a backward slide on three. Try that. Ready, go. Ready, go. And then that's followed by just some open strings. Three, five, one. So try the whole measure. This is measure 14 of the tab. So it would be one, slide, three, five, one. Ready, play. Ready, play. show you the rest of page one. There's just one measure left and it's the last measure in this phrase. It goes two, one, slide, one, five, one. And if you were paying attention earlier, you actually already know this measure. I'm looking at the tab and measure 11 of the B part, of the whole song really, but a measure 11 is the second measure of the B part. It's also the same right here. So it was two, one, slide, one, five, one. So I think we should just try and put this third phrase together. I'll play it. And then we go right into two, one, slide, one, five, one. Your turn. Ready, go. Once that feels good, let's play phrases one, two, and three. One, two, ready, go. chuckled because I changed my own fingering, but you can do whatever you want. Let's try that again. Phrases one, two, and three of the B part, starting measure 10. One, two, ready, go. time and then we'll finish this off. One, two, ready, go. Here's the fourth phrase of the B part. That's with the first ending. With the second ending, it's one less note. So, first you're gonna play open fourth, and then you're gonna play fourth string, fourth fret, with open one right after. So, four, four, one, ready, go. And then you should know this pull off pretty well by now. Two to zero on the third string. So four, four, one, pull off, ready, go. And then we're gonna add fourth string, fourth fret, and open one. So that becomes four, four, one, pull off, four, one, ready, go. The 
first time through the B part, we end the fourth phrase with this ending. Try it. Just that. Three, five, one, two, five, one. Ready, go. So let's play the fourth phrase from the B part with the first ending. Ready, go. Play the fourth phrase from the B part with the second ending. It's one less note at the end. You just skip the open first, and the reason is Benton Flippin needs to get back to the first string to start the A part again. So end on the fifth string, start on the fourth string. Ready, go. Three, five, one, two, five. Let's do that one more time. So second ending of the B part. Uh, but play the whole, the whole fourth phrase. Ready, go. Once that makes sense, and feel free to look at the tab on the twofingerbanjo.com website, we're going to try the whole B part. Let's play two B parts. One, two, ready, go. One of my favorite things about Benton Flippin's recording of June Apple is the tag that he puts on at the end. It evokes the A part, but then takes a left turn and ends with a flourish. And it sounds, when played slowly, like this. Let's learn it. So you're going to go to fifth fret of strings one and two. And you're going to do our picking pattern from all over the A part, where you go one, two, one, five. And then switch immediately to this chord position, where you're on first string, fourth fret, and second string, third fret, and do the same thing with your picking hand. So we start at five and five, and we go one, two, one, five with our strings. Ready, go. And then we switch and we play the same picking pattern. Ready, go. So try it without the pause in the middle and you'll have the first measure of the tag. Ready, go. One more time. Ready, go. And then you're going to play open first. Slide backwards on the third string from three to two, and then play open third, and then five one. 
So try that. One, and then slide. Three, and then five, one. Ready, go. Ready, go. So let's put these first two measures of Benton Flippin's tag together, starting at five and five. One, two, ready, play. Open one, slide. That's half of it. One, two, again, go. Let's learn the other half. So the third measure of the four in this tag has a melody that climbs down from open second to third string second fret to open third to fourth string second fret. Try that. Open two, three two, open, and then four two. But there are twice as many notes in this measure as that. Between each melody note, you're just going to pluck open one with your index. Try it. Ready? Play. Two, three, two, three, four, two. Ready? Go. And then you're ready for the final measure, which just has three beats in it. Open four and then a pinch of four and one, but you're gonna hold down fourth string at the fourth fret and get that beautiful double stop. And then you're gonna end by playing open three and open one. So open four and then pinch and then pinch. Ready, play. One more time, ready, go. Once that feels okay, we're going to put the third and fourth measures of this tag together. It'll sound like this. Ready, go. Ready, go. to put these four measures together. Go back to five and five and try it with me. One, two, here we go. Let's do that one more time before we practice the whole tune. One, two, ready, go. And feel free to pause the video and work on that until it feels really, really smooth. Let's play the whole tune three times, ending with Benton's tag. One, two, ready, go.